Hi, in this tutorial series, we're going to take a menu scene created within GUI and we're going to make it come to life with UFrame. Kind of connect all the pieces together, wire the buttons up, uh, add some logic, and just really make the scene do what we want to do. So I've got this basic scene here. If I run it, uh, nothing's wired up, nothing's going. It's basic and GUI stuff. There's no components here. We do have the game manager and scene manager objects ready, but there's nothing there. There's no components. Uh, there's no code or anything. It's literally just a scene of in GUI. So what we want to do is take this login, make it work, and we're going to take the main menu, make it work. Whenever the play now button is hit, it'll transition to another scene. Whenever we log off, it'll go back to the login screen, just like that. And if we don't type in the correct username or password, a uh, error message will pop up. But if we do type it in, of course, the login button will take us to the main menu. I'm going to assume that you already know the basics of Uframe and you've watched uh, all the basic tutorials. Uh, and now we're going to get started. So I'm just already got the diagram here and have the project in the scene. Uh, you can download this starter package from the uh, website where you're watching this video tutorial. And I'll uh, give you a Unity package you can import if you want to follow along. All right, so I'm going to add a new scene manager. And let's go ahead and add our subsystem. Again, I'm going to move kind of fast here. So we have a lot to cover. All right, let's link our subsystem up. And that all looks good. Let's go to the menu subsystem. And now we're just going to create a uh, couple elements here. And first we're going to create the uh, root scene element. This is going to be uh, just practically an object in the scene or a game object uh, called main menu scene. Because remember, we always want to root. And I'm going to go ahead and create another element. And I'm going to call this menu screen. And I'm going to make this a template. And this is a new feature in 1.2 uh, where you can actually create elements that are going to be the base structure of other elements. And this isn't actually going to live in the scene. It's just going to allow you to have functionality that applies to anything that inherits from it. So in programming terms, we could just call this an abstract element. All right, so I'm going to add a main menu screen. Add another element. Let's do our login screen. So we're just creating the two screens basically for these panels of NGUI. And we're gonna say both of those are a menu screen. And since they're both menu screens, we want to be able to show and hide these how we want to. So we're just going to add a active property. And we'll make this a Boolean. All right. Looks good so far. All right, so let's go over here and create a collection and say we're gonna have multiple screens. So we'll just call this menu screens. And that looks good. Drag that over to our menu screen. So we'll have multiple of those. I'm gonna go ahead and add some strings here for uh, the data we're gonna have on the screen, which is username, password, and a error message, just in case. And we've got a login button on there. Can't forget about it. And we've got a log off button on the main menu screen. 
So I'm literally verbatim creating uh, the data or the view data, if you will, uh, that will exist on this screen when I'm creating these uh, screens literally. And we got to add one more button here because our main menu has a uh, play button as well. So we'll want a command for each button. If that makes sense. And I'm also going to create a uh, start screen. And this will just be a reference to a menu screen that uh, the element controller will know exactly which screen to load first. So that's all that's for. It's not going to be initialized with anything special. It'll already be in this collection. And let's add one more thing just so we have a transition later on. Let's go ahead and add our uh, play game. And essentially our play uh, button on here will just invoke this. And the reason we're doing that is because on the main menu scene, uh, we need to remember that this is a single instance element and these aren't because they belong to a collection, the menu screens. And for transitions, you have to have a single instance element with a command on it for it to show up as a potential command that will transition from one scene to the other. All right, so there's only one thing we have to do now, and that is uh, create some views. And I'm just going to name all of these after the element and just append view on the end of it and wire it up. All right, so we got our main menu scene view. Let's go add our menu screen view. Wire that guy up. Now I'm going to add a new main menu screen view. So main menu screen view. And I'm going to wire that up. And let's do the same thing for our login screen. And we want to add a new view. So login screen view. There we go. Wire it up. And there's one more thing we need to do with both the login screen view and main menu screen view. But I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.